What's up, everyone? It's Chris and Jovan from SportsChatPlace.com here with your two-leg college basketball parlay for Wednesday, November 17th, 2021. Jovan, you and I were talking before we started recording the video. Not a, not the greatest Wednesday college hoops card, but after a COVID year, I think we'll take it. Oh, absolutely. Because that COVID year is a thing to forget. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I see a weakness in the game with these um, with these two plays, you know, with, these, with this parlay. So let's get it. Absolutely. All right. First game of parlay. We're going to be taking a look on SEC country, Mississippi State hosting Detroit Mercy. Mississippi State laying 15 and a half at home in this one. Yeah, so I'm on Mississippi State in this one. Now, Bill and Howland's squad, you know, they come out the gate hard, you know, beating um, Montana by 37 and um, beating North um, Alabama by 26. And, you know, they do it with defense. That's their staple, you know. Um, and they have two games um, holding on opponents to 30.2% from the field. And, you know, they're, gonna, they're long and athletic and led by um, Iverson Molinar, you know, they're going to be all over Detroit Mercy. You know, Detroit Mercy lost both their games, won by 38 to Wyoming. And, you know, the coach's son, Antoine Davis, he dropped 24 a game last year, but he's come out cold in his first two games. And, you know, shooting 21% um, from, from three-point land and 35%, you know, from the field overall in his first two, two games, it's not going to get the job done. Mississippi State rolls. Yeah, I'm I'm right there with you, Mississippi State, because Antoine Davis, he's a talented player, but when you're scoring 24 and then the rest of the team is only matching you, you're not going to win many basketball games. Antoine Davis usually a one-man show for the Titans, and like I said, as good as he is, there's just no secondary production. Meanwhile, like you said, Mississippi State, Iverson Molinar, one of my favorite players in the SEC, dude can flat out ball, but this is a, a Mississippi State team that got some nice transfers coming in, you know, Garrison Brooks from North Carolina, DJ Jeffries along with Tolu Smith up front in the paint. This is this is a, a, an underrated Mississippi State team that I think is going to shock some people once we start SEC play. So I like Mississippi State there as well with you, Giovanna. Like I think they win that one by 20-plus. The other half of the parlay, I'm going to go to the Big Ten. The Maryland Terrapins laying 15-and-a-half, playing host to George Mason in this one. Yeah, and I'm all over George Mason in this one. You know, now, we got a Rick Bonds disciple, um, Kim, Kim English, you know, um, who um, last two years was an assistant coach under um, Rick Barnes, and as soon as he, as soon as he was named the head coach, what did the players do? They all transferred. Top five scores transferred. But what did he do? He hit that portal hard too. You know, and got some nice players in in, in the mix. You know, to hold it down for him. Players like Deshaun Schwartz out of Colorado and Devonte Gaines out of Tennessee. You know, so. You know they've come out the uh, come out the gates hot, three and those straight up and against the spread, and they should cover against this Maryland team who they did add Fats Russell out of UR, um, URI. You know he he's a he's a beast. You know, but are they gonna mesh well? You know, as a team they started off good, three and zero, but against the spread they're only one and two um, against the spread. So, you know, and this is the teams against like Vermont, George Washington, and Quinnipiac. So this is just too, too, too many points. Yeah, I'm right there with you on George Mason as well because I was on Maryland against George Washington because I didn't like George Washington's uh, zone defense from last year. And what happened, Maryland just didn't show up and almost for a good portion of that game, it looked like they could lose that game outright. And, uh, you know, I, you could argue that maybe even Vermont should have had a cover in that game. They, they let it slip away late. I was on the Catamounts in that one. And it kind of just fell apart. But uh George Mason, you know, this is this is a team that can, like you said, battle hard. They got some good transfers coming in. And you mentioned Fats Russell, and I think this is a key to this. We saw last year Maryland had a tournament team that had five players that were at least 6'5 in the starting lineup. Fats Russell leading the point now only 5'11, so he takes away some takes away some size from the point. And uh, I think George Mason may be able to exploit that. And I like uh, I like the uh, the Patriots here getting 15 and a half to your shopping because this this line I have a feeling is going to be all over the place. So. Definitely take George Mason the points, but uh, Javon, do you want to do a recap of your parlay? Yeah, just a quick recap. Mississippi State for the first leg, and take your second step, second leg, with George Mason. All right, there you have it. But if you're looking for best bets from Javon, myself, or any of our other world-class handicappers, check out Sports Chat Plays Premium. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like, and let's cash some winners.